Merry Christmas from around town here in the studios at the Maclehada Mary Church here on Channel 22, and I'm your host, Dick Patton, and on behalf of my tremendous director, Ian Marks, who's on his way to Japan as this is being aired, and uh, with me is my special guest, guess who? Yeah. None other than hmm, Chris Kringle. Hmm. Who could it be? Father Christmas. Hmm. Uh, not the Easter Bunny, certainly oh, not. Oh, Santa no, no. Claus. <laughs> Hello, the everybody. The old man from the North Pole <laughs> is flown in here today on on the. Uh, let's see now, who brought you down today? Must be Dancer Dan Dasher Dancer Blitzen, Comet, and Cupid. Other than that, the others are all resting, huh? No, I, I had uh, I had an ultralight. I took that down. We don't. Uh, is you know it gets so close to the holiday to the, to the holiday yeah we have the, the the main team of reindeer rest i don't take them out and that's what you don't pay them that's when you don't pay them enough yeah but you got to give them better grain to eat more than well more gourmet I, food you know oh we we've given them yeah. some good food but i have to tell you i have to tell you a piece of advice yeah okay yeah <clears throat> that not that you would have may run into this no but what we discovered because i was looking for a way of getting more uh, not horsepower, but reindeer power out of the team for yeah, flying. Yeah. I said, maybe we can come up with some special grain. And, and Mrs. Claus had a wonderful idea. Yeah, <laughs> she, she, said. she said she had a wonderful idea. Because she said, nothing. maybe we should feed them some of my homemade chili Santa. I said, well, that's a wonderful idea. Well, that must have really made Rudolph's nose shine oh, up. Oh, they morning, didn't flew it, huh? like horses that night, I tell you. They I bet they did. Day. But mm. I got to tell you, that's why I don't have my coat here, the dry cleaners. That and you didn't uh, you didn't give him a little bit of a little magic Bailey's dust. Irish cream to well, no, mix we, in with it. We took care of that out. There. Yeah? Never Good. feat chili to a reindeer. Well, it's a pleasure having you back, Santa, for another year. and are uh, doing fine. Yeah, but you know, Richard, it's, it's always good to be with you because, you know, you, I, I, we get to read these letters and 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 partake of it. That's a nice picture, that one. There. This one here. Let me put, see, give you a nice picture. Let's, let's I have to tell you something, Any name on Santa. it? You? Huh? Oh, it's I you. have to you tell you it. something funny. Vincent, Vincent Peterson did this. Look at that. That's a good picture. That's a nice picture. He did picture. a good job, he did. Yes. But what you know, I noticed some of the letters that we're, we're, we're not... I'm sure you're getting them up at the North Pole, but you know in the parade this year, our letters were a little bit down, and I think it's because there are so many undesirables that are wrong on the parade lines, whatever, that they're afraid of somebody getting that letter that shouldn't get it and not you, you know? So well, we've got to think of something different next year. I know. Well, you know, it's important, see, if you're, especially if you're going to give the letter to Santa, if you're visiting with Santa, yep. or if you're in the parade, yeah, okay, that sort of thing. <clears throat> One of the uh, main things is, and this is for the grown-ups, understand, yeah. and I know you mean well, but don't, I know where you live. Don't put your address in no. anything on there. Don't do that. I know. I. Because I need to know. I'm saying to if but it's nobody else. And so if, it, if, if somebody gets it, goes, oh, Dick Patton is his address and everything. Well, oh, oh, oh. yeah. You know. So we don't want to do that. That is that of Vincent. That's a lovely picture. Now let's get down to reading some of that. But I have to tell you, though, I must say that between the weather being, and again, the Christmas parade, I don't know how you did it. Maybe because well, you're, I don't know, but it was the weather. It was, was, it, was a, it was still good weather that day. It was a little dicey. They claim at night yeah. before, but you know I've seen oh, worse it, ones than oh, that. Oh no, oh no! But, but it wasn't. It wasn't frigid cold. No, it and was, that was, it was a good. wonderful turnout for the. Oh party. yes, oh. yes, I've had nothing but praises about it. And, and, and not just you, but everyone on the committee. They worked so hard to make that happen, so that be delightful for the children and their families. And the Christmas tree lighting downtown in front of the state house. Thousands of people. Mm. It, it, it was huge. It really, it really looked like the biggest attendance that I've, I've seen down there for the tree lighting. And people have talked about it. I know some people in Derry did their first tree lighting in a long time in the little town of Derry, yep. New Hampshire. Yep. And you know they were asking me about it, and they said, well, you do, you work with the guys in Concord. I said, oh, sure I do. Yep. And so they're trying to come up with a first idea 
for next year how to do things better. He said, well, they have a band and this and that. And, and so, you know, it's, but it's lovely entertainment. But people, I thought, were having a really good time. And thank oh, you again to the Concord Fire Department. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Big, big thanks to them. Now, we're going to read some of these letters. Here's one from Phoebe. And Phoebe put her name on there and then drew this. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But it says Phoebe. I don't know. So it's like, I don't know, but it's an interesting design. See, when it comes to art, especially when children, and you know, they say, look what I made, you go, you can't have that look like, the heck is that? You can't do that to, to a small child. But they know what it is. But you look at it, and they, you know, they do wonderful with the color. And Anyway, dear Santa, I wish for a Minnie Mouse and Goofy toy. <laughs> Uh, you think Mickey be a little upset with the two of them? Mm. Hang it up. But Mickey Mouse and Goofy Toy. That's from Phoebe. Where do you want me to put the ones we you've read, Richard? Just throw them on the floor? Or? Yeah, and right now. Anyway, we'll figure it out, and we'll have it all take care of that. Now, here's Vincent. Did he put a little letter with this picture? Oh, that yeah. I like. That one yeah. I may uh, try to, you know. This, yeah. this, uh, it, it, it just strikes me that he, Vincent took a lot of time. Well, you got your foot, it looks like you got your foot stuck in something. It's Phoebe. That one there is? No, oh, but it looks like the same thing that Phoebe made. Oh, it could see? be. Yeah, it could be. It's whatever some kids are, I don't know what that is. They may see that on TV. Dear Santa, this year I want a book. I love hearing that, Richard. Yeah. Still with all the electronics. Oh, and, I know. And all, everything. Kids still want a book. He didn't even say what kind of a book. He wants a book. That's good news. All right. Dear Santa. Please, su oh, 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 Sam, please surprise me. Yeah, Sam. I will. I'll you skip know, you. Sam, no, dude, I'm only kidding. Listen. If there's a boy or girl out there watching this, and I'm hoping for next year, if there's something that you really, really need, please stress mm. so we can make sure that you'll, we, you, we all let it get read because... You know, there are some boys and girls who really, really need something. You, you, you see you know, that. family it, does, and, and you know, and, it's... And I, they, they're at the age where they can write their own letters, mm, okay, which is good. Yep. And they'll put together a letter, and sometimes, um, I had a little boy come up to me a few years ago. I was at an uh, event when people were visiting with Santa, and he told me that he said, you can give my, my dad needs a job. Yep. And I was like... Whoa. And you know the thing, he wasn't being silly or anything. No. Nope. And his father was a little embarrassed. He said, Oh, I'm sorry, Santa. I said, No, see, because he's thinking, who could help but Santa? Yeah. So you're right. If we can, yes, through our right. process of collecting letters at the parade and so forth, mm. have a, a way of helping out. Now, here's from, I did no name on this. So this is Eddie. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait over here. Julia Kelly. Word me. Julia Kelly. Sweatshirts, a phone or iPod. Mm. Yeah, okay. Fleece sheets. Oh, I like those. Uh -huh. yep. Patriots jersey. Uh-huh. Ha <laughs> ha, Patriots jersey. He looks like Bill Belichick, doesn't he? Patriots jersey, a Fitbit, and so she's going to go out running and stuff, and a Hatchable. You know what a Hatchable is? No. Nope. They're going to catch you up on these things. They're toy stuffies. They're stuffy, little stuffed animal. And they come in this... Pretend egg. Yep. And they hatch and mm -hmm. they develop. Now you think, well, that's, isn't that kind of silly? No, because it helps people, it, it people helps children who are people think of nature and think of animals and think about how life is. Now there's another involved picture and letter. Oh, yeah, it's going to describe right out there for you. Yeah, this is Holly, I believe that's what the name is. And it looks like might be a Barbie doll on the back. Dear Santa, just flip over. I would, but I, I don't know if I can get back up again. Mm -hmm. Oh, the flip the page over. I would like a, um, oh, 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 an Ewok, a Star Wars fan. Okay. I like a Twins Hatchable, I see. That's what I told you about the eggs. Yep. And a camera. Now, that's good because, see, mm. they're thinking creatively. Now, I'm not reading these in any particular order. Just Dick is putting them here. You know, I have to tell you something good too, Santa, was yes. that for me this year, I remember how 
When I was much younger, Santa, how I used to talk with my friends about the roller derby. Oh, ho, ho. I love those. I have those roller derby. Oh, well, what, was, what was that team? The 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 San Francisco Bay Bombers. Bay Bombers. With, Almost of the Bay City Rollers. With Jones, and Joni Weston. Yes. But she passed on the, away. They were on the bank track then. Now it's flat. Well, that's, it, I don't consider that roller derby. Neither do. Not those. quite the same. But and uh, that, Charlie O'Connell. They were their roller. He passed off. away this year. Did he? Yes. And she died uh-huh. a few years ago. But what I wanted to tell you yes. was, I have been writing back and forth, and I am so honored. I have been writing back and forth with Sean Atkinson, mm-hmm. whose dad was Buddy Atkinson Jr. Yeah. His grandfather was Buddy Atkinson Sr. Uh-huh. of the New York Chiefs. Yes. And from that, I've been talking with John Hall, who mm-hmm. is the manager of the Los Angeles Thunderbirds on the roller games. Yes. And from that, I've been talking with Johnny Harmada, who is on the San Francisco Bay Bomber team. So uh-huh. we're friends we are. Larry Smith from the San Francisco Bay Bomber Ooh, team. Been a busy little oh, fan, I, know, it, you? It, I have enjoyed that so much this uh-huh. year. And, um, do you think they'll ever bring back the bank track? They do up in California. Oh, do they do that? See, yeah. on this side of the country, they do the flat track. Uh, they've had them down here. And they don't the want. Arena. They don't want many though here on the east, east coast. They do out there, but not here. No, no, I see that. But they uh, they work awfully hard. It's good entertainment. That was the thing. It was uh, like once you get at one time, when and, and, and kids today they have so much like you said, cable and Netflix and all that. But at one time, when you were a little bit too old for Saturday morning cartoons, yep. and but you weren't old enough to stay up real, real late to watch funny horror movies at midnight, in between that, you're either a wrestling fan, or, or maybe at the same time, a roller derby fan. Mm. Those were the days. Now here's a letter from Travis Cole. I would, dear Santa, looks like a grown-up help with that, which is perfectly okay, I would like an electric scooter and a tank. Love, Travis Cole. Wow. Busy little man. What do we got here? I love these. What is that? Oh, oh, and I've been writing with. Oh, and there's no name on this at all. Jumping oh. Joe Perez. Oh, those are the days. Weren't they the days? Pens, paper, sled, car, do- uh, doll, workbook, slippers. No name though on this. So no. I don't guess. We'll have to put that through the system. Well. See if we, ooh, you know what? I have elves that can run that through the big computer at the North Pole, and they can do like a penmanship or handwriting analysis to find out who, who wrote that. Yeah. Dear Santa Claus, hope you have a safe trip, and hope you have fun delivering toys. Enjoy your cookies. Look at me. Mm. I enjoy my cookies. Ho, ho, ho. Save a piece of cookie for me. Really? Now, here you go. So popular. Number one on this uh, young person's list. What is the name? What is that? Drayden? I don't know. I think it's Drayden. Number one on his list, a wrestling rink. Oh, there you go. There you go, because they got the little action figure guys and put them in the wrestling rink. And what else? Wrestling guys. He needs that for the rink. And anything Michael Jordan, Spider-Man Homecoming movie, Oh, Lord. And games for his Xbox One. So he's got a mixture of things going on there. This girl here has a sentence there for you to read. She wants you to give toys to other boys, uh, toys to other boys and girls who don't have any toys. It says that here? Yes. Dear down, Santa. Down I, at the end of her letter. I bet. Oh, I see. I have been great. A great girl. Uh, for Christmas, I would like very much a makeup set, uh, princess dolls. Uh, she wants to make a paper flower. Very creative. Children are very creative. A new bike, a dollhouse, and toys for other kids who don't have any toys. Yep. All right. Very nice. A good upbringing there. And that, that boy, I wish I could read that name. Is that? What do you think that name is? Age four. It's a girl, I think. Yeah, I know. Well, oh. yeah, well, well. See, what does it say? Sutton. Is that the name? 
Uh, her name to, is. I'm to do that penmanship recognition again. What happened here? They dropped one. I don't know. It's I not. Know. It can't be sure. Sutton because that would be the town of Sutton. But she's age four. I assumed it was a girl. Yes, we'll see, but because she's I had been a great girl. But I that don't know the name. Clue, it's too, his, yeah. uh, well, um, we'll we'll have to again. We can. Uh, this is a uh, Taylor. I can see this. We'll have to put that through the handwriting analysis. Yeah. Computer at the North Pole. Yeah. Now this is a Santa, uh, which they didn't they didn't draw that. That was probably out of a worksheet or something, but still very nice. Yeah. Um, boy, pretty. You don't even have to color that except that top part of the hat. The white beard, the white <laughs> the white fur. Dear Santa, for Christmas. Can I please get an iPod? I know I've been, uh oh, and unhappy little faces drawn right here, Richard. See them? Because yeah. oh, I, know. I know I've been naughty, but I don't mean it. Love, Taylor. Well, this one here is for love, L O L. So that's also. OMG, look at that. Yeah. I would like a L O L, whatever that is. Yeah. Uh, something pet and a baby dolls. Yeah. Oh, and a and a uh, oh, and baby dolls and, and, and more LOL dolls. Very good use of color to me. They even when they're writing, they they do a little artwork with their writing. I like that. Now, let's see what we have here. And I, I so enjoy doing this with you, Richard, because we get a chance to sit here and relax. And these comfortable chairs. This one's nice. And 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 talk about things. That one's nice. Let's see what we have here. Mama Richard, must Mama must have wrote that for somebody. Richard says this is very nice. Uh, oh, here we go. The whole name Vita Satarelli. I went to school with a Satarelli. Huh? I went to school with a Satarelli. I I I I've known a few Satarelli. Santa, I would I would know that. Dear Santa, for Christmas. I would like big girl toys. Mm -hmm. Just let that hang there for a moment. Like my sister has. New shoes, diapers size three. I'm a little confused now. Baby sippy cups, boy, for the dolls. And baby balls. I just, oh. oh, oh, oh. I see now. Yeah. I just turned one year old. That makes sense. And I need big girl things, even though I'm still a baby. Love you, Santa. That Vita Tuckerelli. Yes. Well, somebody who I would guess probably an older sibling. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'm sure so. And that's very nice. Now, hi, Santa. I'm Robbie Brooks. All right. I hope you and the reindeer find my house. We live upstairs. We will be sure to leave you a snack. I like that. It doesn't have to be milk and cookies, by the way. It could be, you know, nuts or something. A lot of protein and nuts. Not too many nuts. Um, and if you're going to leave snacks for the reindeer, little little bits, okay? Because they're just, you know, they want to take, they want to pull over to the side and, and, and work on a big carrot. Little bits would be fine. I would like a skate, oh, skateboard's finger ones. If you actually use your finger instead of, you know, not you writing on it, it's for your hand. Xbox 360 games, another controller, army guys and vehicles, clothes, nice to have some PJs. There you go. Wrestling things, and gift certificate to Toys R Us. See, they're so well thought out. This one's from a little girl from Northwood, New Hampshire. Well, let's see this right here, Northwood. Lovely town, Northwood. Here's Santa. Carter Cleary. Okay, I should put the name right up here. Yeah. I have been very good today <laughs> at the writing of this letter, which could have been weeks ago now. Can I please have a sprint? Prince, uh, I have a sprint, strict, something set. You know, you got me on that one. 
all but a Teen Titans Go set. I know that's a show on, on, on uh, Cartoon Network. I know that. So you got, oh, let's see this. Yeah, this is looking at this. Uh, Teen Titans Go set. And some other. Merry Christmas. Love Carter Cleary, who's six years old. Up in Northwood. Dear Santa, I've been good. Please bring me uh, a bag of wonderful things, including trucks in my stocking. Love you know, Sawyer. Do you remember the days? Santa went, oh, this is a good picture of who they drove. I thought you might like that. That's a good one. Kind of scary, but oh, maybe it was Halloween picture. That's, uh, <laughs> that's Lon Chaney Jr. Look at that. What is, oh, that's, oh, but, you, you, but see, they, they take what they see, what they remember, and that's how they transfer. Now, they're not thinking like they're, you know, artwork that they're going to sell somewhere or put in the paper. Mm -hmm. So they put, they've got the, the hair, a little more hair than I have up here. No nose, which is fine. But they got the beard and the nice smile and the ho, ho, ho. Mm -hmm. So when you, so it's important with kids that you don't say, what the heck is that? Don't look like Santa. Don't do that. Say, no, it's fine. You did a nice job. Now, here's Santa. There's no name on this either. You can put your name on there, but I like it though. I like the picture. It's probably Ian. He probably wants it. Now, uh, Nerf guns. Uh oh, PS4, Nintendo Switch. When do you ever get outside with a Nerf gun? You got all that? I don't know. Uh, I own a PS4 controller, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, Apple Watches, slippers, and crayons. Well, that was a curveball there with all that, and it's still the crayons, which is nice. This one there has a nice thing oh. at the very end. You're still here. What? What do we have? Very nice sentence at the very end of it. My list. Big. Okay, so this is another LOL. So this is something I gotta. Uh, the old one. Big LOL, LOL pack. Socks and undies. Shelter for someone who does not have one. Yep. Very nice. There's no they're name gonna, on this proceeding. You're thinking important. of someone else who doesn't have a home or doesn't have a place to stay. And sometimes, I like that. And, and, and when you, you help out, and a lot of, uh, like friend Mr. Rogers used to say, no matter what's going on, even yep. the bad news you see on TV, look for the helpers, the people who help. And there are a lot of people who help out. And in this area, uh, our friends over at the windmill, when they do the wonderful community oh, yeah. dinner, that's fantastic. I, I love being over there. I help out with I love that. Um, for the people that help out with the different shelters and all. Oh. You know, it's an awful lot of work, and sometimes people just need a little help. Salvation because we, Army this year. Well, we like, you know, we like to say you give somebody a, a, a hand up, not a hand out. Okay? You need a little hand up. And give them a chance to get things going a little bit better. Dear Santa, my name is Jackson King. I've been a very good boy this year. For Christmas, I would like a giant recycling truck and a new bulldozer. And Jackson's going to go into business for himself. That's what I'm thinking. How much time do we have, Richard? Uh, we're getting down there very Get down there, minutes, okay. So I think we're going to probably have to no, I know. get we in the air. We're probably not going to get through all the letters. But oh, we, no. But, but we'll, we try. Read, you will read these in your time. Oh, yes. You got time we'll up take North Pole there. My name is Isabella, and I've been a, a little naughty. Hmm. She's Doing honest. better. She's honest. Yeah, yes, sir. And, and, and there's a few things I would like to ask you for. So we need, uh, what is this? Uh, oh, animals, collections, and games. Whoa. Well, See, it, it's good to be, you know, because I'll know anyways. But it's good to be honest because what you, you know, if you've done something, you didn't pick your toys up like you asked to. Or put your dirty laundry in the, in the uh, dirty laundry bin. Uh, you know that. So you know, and it's a good thing to just say, hey, look, I'm sorry, and I'll try better later. This child loves Legos. Oh, man, you get a lot of them. Oh, see, Legos are fascinating. Because you can make, the, you can get the set, 
and make whatever to the picture on the box or if you're a real builder you can make your own thing. So you got you how many cookies you're going to have this year on your trip? A lot. I intend to have Are a lot. Are you lactose so and so yet? No, no. No, I just put 1% milk? milk aside. Okay. Or Gatorade. Need that one yeah. My Christmas list is Santa from Allison. Can you please get all these Lego elves sets? Wow. And there's 15 of them. Lego elves. I'm going to say Lego elves once. It's like when uh, Steve Harvey and Family Feud reads the question. But I'm going to say this once. Okay, but Lego elves. Regatta's Magic Shadow Castle. Queen Dragon's Rescue. The Water Dragon's Adventure. The Dragon's Sanctuary. The Goblin King's Evil Dragon. Magic Rescue from the Goblin Village. Breakout from the Goblin King's Fortress. Fire Dragon's Lava Cave. The Secret Marketplace. Elevendale School of Dragons, ooh, Sarah's Adventurous Air Glider, Emily Jones and Baby Wind Dragon, The Starlight Inn, Skira's Mysterious Sky Castle, and The Precious Crystal Mine. A whole thing going on there, Richard. What a pretty well thought out. That's a good one. Another nice picture we're going to put that right, right to the camera so we get a good, yeah. good look at it right there. You oh. said, I loved when I saw you. In the parade. Yes. And I can't wait to, uh, for this Christmas. I hope you enjoy the relaxing time you have before uh, delivering all the toys. And a picture of uh, Santa, the snowman, and one of the elves at the North Pole. Cookies and milk. That's Amber. Love mm -hmm. Amber. Oh, nice job on that, Amber. Very nice. Well, you know what that means. We're coming to a close of the round. Sound round. Sound. And yeah, so you can take these if you want to read. Well, well, get those of those boxes. And we'll bring it on the slate. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas, Santa, you and Mrs. and all the elves. And, and I know... I know I'm wishing a very wishing a very safe trip for uh, Ian as he goes to Japan and oh, back. Oh, absolutely! And, uh, yes. Maybe you could spare a reindeer or two for him. Well, and, if he's uh, uh, have you ever done any skydiving? I could probably fly slow over Tokyo and push you out of the sleigh. I go for that. He would, I bet he would. He has that look. I know he would. <laughs> he has been a very super good boy for me this year. I can tell you. That's good. This year, this has marked his first year with us, and he's finished it, and now he's starting his second year, and I'll tell you, I have been, he has been the real gold egg for around town, so. Well, that's good. Well, we, no, I, I love you to this local connection, and, and the folks on the, on the, your, uh, your Concord uh, TV, put these shows on, give people a chance to to say what they're thinking of, or show their talents, or discuss issues, or just hang out with Santa. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. It really is. It is. Richard, you have a wonderful Christmas. You friend. too, Santa. I'm All right. I'm planning on seeing you again next year at some point. Oh, yeah. my, oh I'm sure you will. So, oh, oh, boys oh, oh, and girls, get your stockings hung with uh, the snacks for Santa on Christmas Eve. Go to bed. Be good, boys and girls. Not just Christmas Eve, but all year round, and if don't and try. always remember someone less fortunate. So, with that in mind, Merry Christmas to Ian. Merry Christmas again, Santa, and we'll see you all in 2018. Great! Ho ho! Merry Christmas, everybody.